Yo, what is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over bitwise and of numbers range. It's a medium problem on leak code. I just started a Slack channel where I post daily leak code problems that I solve and eventually post videos of. Um, I'm not going to be posting easy problems anymore or posting videos to them. They're just too easy. I'm just going to stick to medium and hard. And lastly, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you soon. Alright, so bitwise and of numbers range. Given a uh, range m to n where uh, the, the range is 0 to this large number, return the bitwise and of all numbers in this range inclusive. So if we're given 5 and 7, uh, it's 4. Um, it's kind of hard to realize what's going on unless we draw it out on the whiteboard. So um, I have the problem right here, the 5 and the 7. So I believe, yeah, m is the lower range. So this is m and this is n. Um, so they just want, oh, sorry, yeah. So they just want us to and it. So and means that all the numbers in that range have to contain one. So what that means is we're gonna check to see does this, this column here contain all ones. Well, no, there's a zero, zero, zero. So we're going to put zero. And does this column, this column here contain all ones? One, one, one. So yes, there's a one. What about this column? Uh, we have a zero here, so zero. And this column, there's a zero here, so zero. It has to be all ones for the and function. Um, so this number to bits, I hope you guys know bits at this point, is equal to four. Because um, this, is, this is the one, two, four, eight. So it's just four right there. Um, and I could go over bits, that's like a whole other topic. Um, I'm saving this problem later to explain in the function. But basically how we're gonna solve this is um, we don't want to do brute force, that'll take a while, um, but if we m take this number and this number, well first I want to say that the and, the number that we're going to be returning is always going to be less than m. Um, it's, it's not possible for that if you just look at that. Um, in this problem up here, we're gonna see, well, there's a zero in this one, so we have zero. There's a zero in this column, zero, zero. There's zeros in every column, so in this one, it's actually just gonna be equal to zero. Um, so the way we're gonna do this, the easiest way is we just bit shift one at a time. And when that number finally equals, when the two numbers equal each other, so we're gonna bit shift N and M at the same time. And when they equal each other, um, that's what that's when that's the number we're gonna return so if we bit shift this one the first time we have zero zero one one so this is seven and then we're gonna have five so we're just doing n and m um, and when we bit shift five for the first time it's zero zero one zero these are still not the same so we have to bit shift one more time so we have seven sorry I'm running out of space and then we have, so zero, zero, zero. So we're just moving the ones to the right one. One and zero, zero, one. Well now they're the same. So we're going to um, shift the number to the left, the number of times we shifted the ones. So how many times did we shift them? We shifted them one, two times. So we only did, this is the first one, this is the second. So we're just going to shift them to the left two times. So I'm going to do it up here, 0 and 5. Um, so now we're going to shift this one two places, 1, 2. So we actually don't even need to do both of them. We just need to shift it over two times. So we're going to get 1, 0, 0, which gives us 4. This is equal to 4. So that's how we're going to solve this. Um, <coughs> If we did it in this problem, you'd see that they would never equal each other. Um, 
So yeah, let's code it. So we're going to have to keep track of the shift. We're going to increment shift. So and then we're going to loop through while um, m is less than n. Or er, no, that's wrong. While it does not equal. So to do the bit shift shift to the right, it's this symbol. So we're going to just shift it once. Um, and it updates n. So that's how we do the shift. So we're shifting all the ones one place over, basically. And now let's increment our shift counter. And that's basically it. And then we just return um, either or, or no, we have to. Um, so now we have to shift it either one to the shift amount. So that's what we did in the, on the whiteboard. And then we just return n. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I actually got asked a bit shift question before in an interview. I did not know how to do it. I just hadn't studied bit shifting at all. I never ran into it in school or anything. So yeah, it's so, um, not the greatest. I don't know why it's, I think memory usage is weird. Um, so it's O and O of one and O of one. Um, we didn't have to create anything, so that's why I'm confused why the, the space is so um, low. But yeah, we didn't even have to loop through. Um, we just did. We just shifted them over. Const. I believe they explain it here. Although there is a loop, the number of iterations is bounded by the number of bits bits that an integer has which is fixed so the time complexity of the algorithm is constant so that's why we have o of one space complexity and pretty simple solution it's really um, fast the, the hardest part is just being able to come up with the logic on the spot um, so that's all i have for you guys thanks for watching if you like this video please hit that like button i'll see you in the next video